Hey friends, if you use both Notion and Google Calendar and you'd like to be able to access both platforms within each platform, then same, same, same. Um, I'm not a coder, so I haven't been able to come up with some sort of cool way to do that. But thankfully, I don't have to. For the last few months, I have been using a pre-built integration that allows me to set up Google Calendar events in Notion. They will sync back into my Google Calendar then when I'm in my Google account and it works in reverse as well. So if both of these platforms form a major part of your workflow, whether as a student, a content creator, or just general human being trying to get through the day, then you've come to the right place because in this video, I will take you through a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to set this integration up in your own Notion workspace. A disclaimer is needed for this video because the integration isn't actually free. It's provided via a subscription service and to the best of my knowledge, it's currently five euro or five dollars a month. When you pay an annual subscription upfront, you get two free extra months, so it works out at just over four dollars a month. And whether that's affordable to you or worth it to you is totally your decision. As somebody who's recently diagnosed with ADHD and has found a workflow that finally fits with the way I approach getting things done, yes, it was absolutely worth it and I had the budget to pay for it. I did want to be transparent before the video begins, lest I waste your time. So yeah. Disclaimer out of the way, let's get into it. First of all, I would make sure that you are logged into your Notion account via the web. Also make sure if you've got multiple Google accounts that you're signed into the one that you want to sync with your Notion. It is possible to sync multiple Google calendars with this integration, but let's just start with one and pick one that you want to start with. Once you've set up your first Google Calendar sync in Notion, it's very easy to set up a second one. The website itself is very intuitive and the platform that's offering this integration and where we're going to head to first is called notionautomations.com. The link to that website is down in the description box below, so go ahead and make your way over there. The first thing to do is to set up an account with them. I've set up a temporary email to use throughout this tutorial so that we can work our way through the step-by-step -step process in real time together. You submit your details you'll receive a confirmation code or an email and once you've confirmed your email your account is set up. Now it begins the process of setting up the integration. You're going to click on this yellow button at the top of the page. It says start syncing now and that leads you to the setup page. On this setup page you will work your way through the steps that they provide so again let's do this together. First up is step one connect your Google Calendar. When you click on this it'll open up a new window in which to log into your correct Google account. I will select the new email address that I've set up. Once you've given permission for Notion Automations to access your Google account, it'll bring you back to that set of steps. You conclude this step by selecting the calendar or calendars attached to this particular Google account that you want to see in Notion. You might have more than one calendar visible in one account, so here you can choose which ones you want to see and which ones you want to exclude. Step two, so in order for Google Calendar to appear in your Notion, there needs to be a space in which it can appear, a calendar database. This calendar database will act as the place in which your Google Calendar will live within Notion. So you have two options here. The first is that you can simply use the template calendar that they provide, or if you have a calendar that you like already, it's already existing in your Notion setup, then you can use that as a second option. I'm gonna teach you how to set up both. We're going to begin with what you should do if you want to go ahead with this website's calendar template. Within step two, you have an option to duplicate their Notion template. Click on the blue button to duplicate it, brings you to a new web page, and go up to the top right-hand corner of the screen and you click duplicate. This brings up your workspaces in Notion. You'll select the workspace you want it to go into. And once you've done that, it downloads to that workspace. When that has downloaded fully to your Notion, again, this website will bring you back to the set of steps. And now you're going to select continue to connect Notion. The next step is where you select the pages that you want to allow Notion Automations access to. Because we've gone with this template, we're gonna click on Agenda because that's how it appears in our Notion. Once we've done that, we now need to connect the integration once more to the specific database within that Agenda template. They explain this fully on the website if you're happy to just go via the steps there. 
but if you and I are going through it together, let's copy the events database, which is not the template itself, it's a database within the template. And where you'll find it is if you go to your sidebar, click on agenda and scroll down to, it's, I think it's almost the last one, there it is, it's called events. Now that we're in that page, we're gonna go to the three dots at the top of the page, select copy link, and we're gonna paste that back into the integration bar back on the web page. Alrighty, so that integration was successful. A couple more bits. Do you have events that you don't want to sync? I'm going to talk about that later in the video and it's very easy to find this option again. So let's click later for now and keep going with the setup. Do you want to automatically set up a Notion link? If you include a Notion link here, it means that when you look at this event or this deadline in your Google Calendar, the link will be there for you to click on and thus access your notes straight away by bringing you straight back to the Notion page. Okay, I'm gonna pause you guys now if you were using their template, but if you want to use your own template, we're gonna go back two or three steps and repeat that process for the gang who already have their database ready to go in their Notion. So step one was the same for everybody, so let's move on to step two. For step two, you need to click skip if you want to use your own database. They tell you clearly here what you have to have in your database in order for the sync to be successful. And thankfully, it's very straightforward. They only require two properties. One is a date property, property, and you likely already have that if you have a calendar proper database existing already. And the second property is a text property, the most basic of properties, and you have to label it correctly in order for the sync to be successful. The title for this property is Notion Automations, oh my God, what is it? Notion Automations Event Data. So let's set that up together now. Alrighty, so to connect the two platforms in step three, you'll click connect your Notion and then you'll be brought to a page where you select the workspace that you want to provide access to and the page that has the database in it, if the database isn't directly a page itself in your sidebar. Once you've done that, let's connect the actual database. So let's do that now. This involves two steps. One, you need to go into Notion and provide access to the integration. Click on the share button at the top of the database page and click invite. An option to select Notion automations will be offered, so you'll select that. And then you need to uh, exit the share feature, but stay on that same database page. Click on the three dots at the top of the right hand corner and go to copy database link. Now you'll head back to the setup page and you'll, and you'll paste that link into the bar available. And yep, that was successful. So moving on to step four, you can again select later for this as I can't tell you what you should or shouldn't include. And it's very easy to come back to this section later. The option to include a Notion link, again, I explained this in the section just gone, but for those of you who skipped that section, having a Notion link is good for those who want to have super quick access to this page in Notion form within Google Calendar. You've gotten to this part, and I'm assuming if you're still here, you're seriously considering uh, subscribing for it. Again, don't put yourself in unnecessary debt. This integration is affordable for some, and perhaps it's not affordable for others at this moment in time. Just do what makes most sense for you, but I'm gonna let you go ahead if you do want to subscribe, try it out for a month to go ahead and fill in your details now to do that. And this final part of the video, I want to show you how this works for me in real time. So let's go to our dashboard. This dashboard is a template that I have made available. And while it is a very straightforward template, I do recommend that in order to get the most out of it, you watch the accompanying tutorial. I'll also link that down below. The database that I connected my Google Calendar to is my everything calendar in Notion. It does what it says on the tin. I put absolutely everything in here. So you can see my tasks there. If you only, let's say, wanted to see the week or the month ahead of you, you can go back into Notion Automation's website to your profile account and select down here the time frame of events that you want to see both before the present day and after the present day. I like to see the full month ahead of me. Don't really like to see anything that was in the past. So that is how I've set it up myself. If I go back into my Notion, let's test out the sync in real time. So let's say I... Okay, so let's say I want to schedule this video for Monday the 15th. Um, so we'll go call it Google Calendar times Notion integration tutorial for August 15th creation. And there it is here. If I go into my Google Calendar, it's not there yet, but if I refresh my calendars, you can do that by going to view and clicking down here, or you can press 
the command button and R and there it is, super handy. Let's say I didn't want to see the things that I've already done. So let's choose a filter. We're gonna click the checkbox and I only want to see those that are unchecked. So straight away, the checked items disappear, which is great, it clears things off even more, which is what we wanna see. And if I click on having done this particular task, it disappears. It doesn't mean it's deleted, it's just adhering to the filter that we've put on it. The other places where I have my everything calendar are back on my dash and you can see that the notion link property is here in these iterations of the calendar of the database but it's quite a clunky unnecessary piece of information for us to see it takes up a lot of screen space as well so we'll go to our three dots go into properties and we'll select we want to hide the notion automations event data property again it doesn't mean that it's not there we're not messing with the database, it's just removing it from what we see, keeping things nice and clean and minimalist. And I think that's where I'm gonna end the video, mainly because I've done hopefully what I said I was gonna do, and also because I'm sweating. I turned off the air conditioning for the quality of the audio of this video, and while I love you all, I really do, um, I'm sweating. And I also have a coffee date in 20 minutes, so I'm gonna go. It was so nice to hang out with you. I hope this was useful for you. Two things. A very handy way to support my channel if you got value from the video simply to boop the like button I have a link to this integration down below it is an affiliate link so I may earn a very small commission if you choose to purchase this subscription via that link but absolutely no pressure and certainly don't rush into it if you're kind of on the fence about it maybe try it out for a month or a month or two and see if it works for you and whatever you end up doing I hope that you have a lovely day a lovely week a lovely life Oh, I'm in such a good mood today. But until I see you in the next one, thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourself. Be kind to yourself. And I'll see you again very soon. Bye-bye.